Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCNP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA 7 step 4, routing and switching, connecting networks. This is chapter 8 and section 8.3, NetFlow. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to describe the NetFlow operation in a small to medium sized business network, configure NetFlow data export on a router, Examine sample NetFlow data to determine traffic patterns. NetFlow is a Cisco IOS technology that provides statistics on a packet flowing through the, our Cisco router or multi-layer switch. NetFlow provides data to enable network and security monitoring, network planning, traffic, traffic analysis to include identification of network bottlenecks and IP accounting for billing purposes. Flexible NetFlow is the latest NetFlow technology. Flexible NetFlow improves on original NetFlow by adding the capability to customize the traffic analysis parameters for the specific requirements of a network administrator. Most organizations use NetFlow for some or all of the following key data collection purposes. Efficiently measuring who is using what network resources for what purpose, accounting and charging back according to the resource utilization level, using the measured information to do more effective network planning so that resource allocation and deployment is well aligned with the customer requirements, using the information to better structure and customize the set of available application and services to meet user needs and customer service requirements. NetFlow technology has seen several generations that provide more sophisticated in defining traffic flows, but original NetFlow distinguished flows using a combination of seven key fields. We can distinguish flows from source and destination IP address, source and destination port numbers, layer three protocol types, type of services, marking, input logical interfaces, the first four of the fields of NetFlow used to identify a flow should be familiar. The source and destination IP addresses plus the source and destination port numbers identify the connection between the source and destination application. When comparing the functionality of SNMP to NetFlow, an analogy for SNMP might be remote control of software for unmanned vehicle, where an analogy for NetFlow is a simple yet detailed phone bill. Phone records provide call-by-call call and aggregated statistics that enables the person playing the bill to track long calls, frequent calls or calls that should have not been made. Another difference between NetFlow and SNMP is that NetFlow only gathers traffic statistics. NetFlow can also collect many other performance indicators such as interface errors, CPU usage and memory usage. On the other hand, the traffic statistics collected using NetFlow have a lot more granular than the traffic statistic that can be collected using SNMP. To implement NetFlow on the router, we have to go to the interface and configure NetFlow data capture. NetFlow captures data from ingress, incoming or egress outgoing packets. So we access interface, for example, G01, and we enable the flow for ingress to capture the data as they come into the interface and as they leave in the interface. Then step two, configure NetFlow data export. The IP address of the, or the host name of the NetFlow collector must be specified and the UDP port to which NetFlow collector listens. So IP, flow hyphen export, destination, and then the IP address of the NetFlow data collector. This uh, a UDP port number will be given with all, each application that's going to collect this data. Step three is to verify NetFlow, its operation and statistics. After configuring NetFlow, the exported data can be analyzed on a workstation running applications such as SolarWinds NetFlow Traffic Analyze. So for example, if you see like this show IP cache flow, you can see raw data. This is what NetFlow is actually generating for us. And we can see the flow has been in enabled for ingress and egress. So the net flow is like SNMP again. It kind of like gives you the raw data. So for it to, to actually see it nicely graphs and everything, you need to install another application that's gonna make it nice and pretty for and easy for us to understand. So net flow collector functions, a net flow collector is a host that is running application software. 
The software is specialized for handling raw NetFlow data. This collector can be configured to receive NetFlow information from many networking devices. NetFlow collectors aggregate and organize NetFlow data as prescribed by the network administrator within the constraints of the software. Thank you very much for watching my videos and please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye bye.